Okay, so let's get started on the most basic cinema graph. If we open up Photoshop, and um, this cinema graph uh, workshop is going to assume that you've already shot some kind of media. So, um, uh, maybe a month or two back, we went out and we shot so something really basic, some really subtle notion um, right in the center of the campus. And let me show you what we shot. Just a couple of little flags moving on a bicycle. And we're going to use this little video that we made here to import into Photoshop and then export as a GIF. So um, go ahead and open up Photoshop. Now your version of Photoshop may not look like this. Uh, you do want to make sure that you're on the latest version, CC 2014. It does work in the older versions of CC, uh, but I just want to make sure that everybody's on the same page. So um, odds are, if you opened up Photoshop, your, your, your palettes will look something like this. First thing that we're going to do is come over here and click over to motion. And we do that, and actually I'm just going to reset my motion here. When we do that, uh, as you can see, we've got a couple of extra palettes. Over here we have our, our standard layers palette. We do have a library palette that we probably won't be using. We will use adjustments. Um, and then uh, info, histogram, all pretty standard up there in the upper right. Um, the biggest Thing to notice down here is the timeline palette. So let's go ahead and open up our media. So now I'm just going to open my file. I have this uh, movie file here. And I'll play through it once just so you guys can see it. Really subtle motion here. And we're going to, um, what we're going to do to kind of fix how choppy it is at the end is we're just going to um, cut it in half and um, pull the center, the end point and the beginning point to the center of the clip and then fade through it. So um, let me show you how we're going to do that. Okay, I now have two clips here and I know that the where the issue is is I'm going to start with the end and pull this so the end is now going to be in the middle here okay and now I'm gonna pull this one and then pull this guy over a little bit so now when we play it here let's play it through it looks good on the ends but you can see it gets choppy right in the center so I'll tell you what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this one down so now that's all on one track, and I'm going to highlight both of these, and I'm going to hit uh, crossfade, and the duration will be for one second. Okay. Now when I do this, actually you have to drag and drop it. As you can see, it cuts a few seconds off the end, uh, but that's okay. Let's play it through and see how it looks. You can see how it kind of fades that out a little bit. Let's see if we can't make that a little more subtle. By dragging the fade here, uh, Photoshop will automatically change the length of the clip and then just make that fade a little more slight. So let's see where that goes. That's not too bad, let's see. Make it a little bit less, let's see what happens. Now oh, that's a little jumpy right there. Pull it out a little bit more. Not bad. It's a little ghosty here, but all the rest of it works pretty well. For this purpose, this is what we this is plenty good. So now that we have this, uh, we're now going to save it as a GIF. So uh, you can save your project if you like. File save, Command S. Call this a uh, bike GIF. Cinemagraph rather. Save. Now here comes the magic. We're going to come down to Save for Web. And what we if, if it's not already selected here, um, you can go ahead and uh, select uh, GIF 128 dithered. Okay. And then uh, you have your animation options down here. Go ahead and turn that over to Forever. Uh, and now you can look at the different qualities that we have here 
and um, this one ends up being about 1.3 and it looks pretty good. This one over here, 1.2, well, it still looks pretty good. Let's see, let's see what it wants to do. Zoom out a little bit, or zoom up a little bit. So you can see this one starts to get a little bit grainy, but uh, for a GIF, it's, that's just fine. So let's go ahead and uh, play it through and just double check it. I'm not too happy with the animation on that one. Let's use the, let's look, take a look at the original and hit play. Kind of like that one. So what we can do here is hit preview and it'll open the browser window. And now you can see how it's going to play in the web browser. Pretty good. I'm happy with this. So once you get something you like, you can go ahead and hit save. I'll save it to my desktop, the bike cinemagraph.gif. Now, we'll go ahead and drag it into your favorite web browser. I'll put it into Safari for right now. And as you can see, it works fine. Ready to upload to WordPress or whatever website that you want. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one where we're going to cover um, advanced cinema graph making um, with a couple of different layers uh, for better effects. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks.